Good day viewers, um, today we've got a Ford Mondeo Mark 5 I believe, uh, I'll have to double, yeah Mark 5, um, on this one the reverse switch has gone unfortunately, so gone and got another one, or have gone and got another one should I say, and we're just going to be reinstalling it, so where it's located on on these particular models uh, gearbox on the front on the top and yeah there's I'm not entirely sure what that is but it's just below the linkage and it should be just about reachable from here um, and these are 22 mil, so I'm gonna have to get the 22 mil socket on that. Uh, socket, uh, sorry, spanner on that, because I would use a deep, but unfortunately I haven't got any uh, 22s in deep. I've got a 21, which is typical. But yeah, if you've got a 22 deep and you can get yeah you, know, you can get that on there, then by all means use that. But unfortunately, all I've got is a 22 spanner so you're going to see me struggling a little bit here but we'll get this done yes it's also um, alongside the battery tray as you can see this is where I'm uh, filming from the camera's kind of leaning against the battery tray uh, ever so sorry about the uh, poor quality as well it's not my usual camera but hey we'll get the job done Oh, I should also mention that if you are interested in videos of the, uh, this kind, I mean, I haven't got a lot in the way of uh, Mondeo videos just yet, but there are a few more coming. Uh, but if you want to see more, especially in the car series, then please subscribe. Uh, we've got plenty of playlists um, that has all that. So, yeah. Okay, we're just going to give the multimeter a quick test, and, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, uh, it'd help if I actually, uh, pushed them in all the way, um, yeah, that's okay, so, we're just going to test the switch now, yeah, we're just going to test it to see, it should be open on one end and closed on the other, and, yeah, obviously when you press it, it should open, we'll see. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, as we thought, even with, uh, even when we pressing it and not pressing it, it's still giving resistance, so, unfortunately, this switch is obviously gone, uh, but we knew that anyway, because the reverse light was constantly on, um, unlike the Fiesta one, which I haven't recorded, unfortunately, that one just didn't work, amen, this one is on all the time, so we're just going to get the new one, plug it in, and see how it goes. Just making sure not to cross thread it and once that's all lined up get it tightened as hand tight as possible and then we'll get the wrench on it. Um, it seems to have got stuck so I'm just going to use the wrench to shift it along a little bit and then I should be able to get the rest by hand. And now that's hand tight, just gonna give it a tighten up on the wrench. I'm not gonna be too brutal with it, because obviously I think there is a torque setting for these if, well, I could be wrong, but 
if not, hey, if there is, oh, oh well. But, yeah, it's not going anywhere, but it's not too tight. And then we'll plug her in and we'll test her. Yeah, so that works fine, um, just as well as I thought. And again, yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thank you very much. Have a great day.